Whales are magnificent creatures, capable of holding their breath for over an hour and diving to over a thousand feet deep. But where did they come from? Scientists who support evolution suggest whales evolved from a land mammal. For them, the fossil evidence is so convincing, the evolution of whales is offered as one of the best fossil proofs for the theory of evolution. However, scientists who oppose evolution argue that this fossil evidence is unreliable. Darwin thought that whales might have evolved from bears. In The Origin of Species, he wrote, In North America, the black bear was seen swimming for hours with widely open mouth, thus catching, like a whale, insects in the water. I can see no difficulty in a race of bears being rendered, by natural selection, more and more aquatic in their structure and habits, with larger and larger mouths, till a creature was produced as monstrous as a whale. Modern evolution scientists have abandoned Darwin's idea of a bear evolving into a whale. Scientists at the University of Michigan suggest whales evolved from this cat-like animal because of the similarities in the teeth, while scientists at the California Academy of Sciences believe this hyena-like animal evolved into a whale because its teeth are similar to some extinct whales. Biologists in Japan suggest whales evolved from a hippopotamus-like animal based on similarities in the DNA. Detractors of the theory ask, if whale evolution is so clear, and if the fossil record is so abundant, why can't evolution scientists agree upon which land mammal changed into a whale? There is great excitement in the scientific community over the discovery of a few important missing links between a land mammal and modern whales. But what's good about this particular, these particular um, fossil whale specimens is that they do show us intermediates in the evolution of whales. and We don't often get um, fossil intermediates so we can actually trace the development of characters, say for example the evolution of swimming in whales. We don't often have that opportunity. They have a big exhibit on it in Michigan. I was just there. They have, they have all these things just sitting out there. I mean, they're, they're all there. I mean, you'd, you really have to be blind or three days dead not to see the, the transition among these. You, you have to not want to see it. As shown in this diagram from the University of Michigan Natural History Museum, Ambulocetus is one of the important transitional fossils in whale evolution it is thought by some to be a walking whale. Just in the last five or ten years, we've had some remarkable discoveries of fossil whales. And in fact, um, there have been discoveries that have indicated that um, fossil whales had feet and actually walked on the land. Frankly, I don't know why they could call that creature a whale. I have never seen a walking whale, and I've never seen a pig that flies. And they suggested some of these creatures were, were intermediate. You, frankly, I just don't believe it. They believe that because they want to believe it. Recently, some evolution scientists have backed off the assertion that Ambulocetus was an ancestor of modern whales because its eyes are high up on the head, like an alligator's eyes, quite dissimilar from whales and land mammals. Ambulocetus may be on a slight sideline, and we think that mostly because it's very strange. It has its eyes raised up on top of its head in a very strange way. And it's unusually large for an early whale. But mostly the eyes up on the top of the head seems like an unusual specialization. Maybe it's not on the main line. Evolution scientists claim the most spectacular intermediate fossil in whale evolution is Rhodocetus, an animal with four legs, a whale's tail called a fluke, and flippers. It would swim using its widened tail fluke like a modern whale but it had four legs like a land mammal. A perfect transitional fossil between land mammals and aquatic mammals, just as Darwin predicted. The fossil whale that appears a little bit later is Rhodocetus, and this animal had um, large tail vertebrae that indicate there were lots of room for muscle attachment. So here we see the beginning of the type of locomotion that's characteristic of the modern whale, using um, just the tail flukes for propulsion and not using the hind limbs. We have a complete modern whale type structure in Rhodocetus. There are no, uh, not many modifications from Rhodocetus to the modern whale other than changes in size of the uh, structures. 
When this video series was being filmed on location at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, the executive producer noticed a discrepancy between museum drawings of Rhodocetus and the fossils. The reconstruction of Rhodocetus had a whale fluke, but there were no fossils of the tail to confirm this. Dr. Phil Gingrich, the scientist responsible for the discovery and reconstruction of Rhodocetus, was questioned how he knew there was a whale fluke on Rhodocetus since that part of the fossil was missing. What was the uh, reasoning that uh, the scientists think there was a fluke on Rhodocetus um, based on the other pieces of anatomy? Well, I told you we don't have the tail in Rhodocetus. So we don't know for sure whether it had a ball vertebra indicating a fluke or not. So I speculated it might have had a fluke. Scientist Gingrich also acknowledged that the flippers were drawn on the diagram without these fossils. Now, he does not believe this animal had flippers. Again, his answer was surprising, since the museum diagrams had flippers on Rhodocetus. Now since then, we've found the forelimbs, the hands, and the front arm, the arms, in other words, of Rhodocetus. And we understand that it doesn't have the kind of arms that can be spread out like flippers are on a whale. And if you don't have flippers, I don't think you can have a fluke tail and really powered swimming. And so I now doubt that Rhodocetus would have had a fluke tail. Many experts consider whales to be the best fossil evidence for evolution, but are unaware of these discrepancies. Opponents of evolution contend that whale evolution is nothing more than hopeful supposition. If museum diagrams are redrawn and corrected for various discrepancies, opponents argue that whale evolution is non-existent.